in synagogues on Saturday. That's one of my favorite songs in terms of singing. Um, the bird was from my imagination. The dominoes from the childhood domino set I found at home. It was not complete. The, uh, this on the bird was from a, um, a, they sell these things like a history, whatever, natural history museum. It's from a history museum in Montrose, Scotland. Um, and all of this around here was much better defined before I grouted it. And you can't go back and change these things mm -hmm. afterwards. But if I were to redo this, I would have done the grout uh, possibly in either all white or all black. Because a lot of the art, it was from a synagogue in Serbia, mm -hmm. from a book called um, uh, Synagogues Without Jews, which had been, I don't know if Seattle Public Library has it, but I had attended a workshop at the Yad Vashem conference in 2002 in Jerusalem, a Holocaust conference, by the uh, couple who authored this book and did the photographs of all these synagogues in Europe that no longer had Jews. Hello. Hi. Hi. Down in the bottom here, uh, not part of the, not, not including the shelf, but below where all this green slate is, the green slate I had picked up uh, from some construction debris around Broadway and uh, uh, Pine in Seattle. But all this along here I picked up in walks around Jerusalem in 2007, around the old walled city. Um, although some of the shells must have been from uh, beach walks uh, in Haifa or Tel Aviv. Um, and one of the stones is from the, um, after I left visiting the Western Wall, what we used to call the Wailing Wall back in the old days, um, uh, I had wandered into this Christian cemetery, which has like two different levels. There's um, a Christian Arab level and the higher level, and the lower level has all these um, Polish Catholic graves. Um, and then there's a whole um, uh, Polish, uh, uh, community in uh, in uh, Palestine and Israel uh, in the uh, interwar period and, and so on. And Oscar Schindler is buried there. And I uh, wanted to visit, uh, see his grave, and I uh, picked up the stone. Someone asked me afterwards, how can you like, take a stone from this graveyard? I said, there's no shortage of stones and rocks in Jerusalem, or practically for any, everywhere in, uh, in Israel for that matter.